worry about all three openings. Adren will turn quickly to deal with the Vice and Zipex, and Hooch will clean up Dupree for the round there. And But indeed, the bomb will go down here. Adren might choose to be aggressive here, which wouldn't be a bad idea considering they're outnumbered. That's a very nice play there from Gambit, leaving the Vice alone now versus two. Has a Molotov to try and fill up these two players, but uh, there's not a lot he can do here. That's a very nice headshot by the Vice. Another one as well. What an insane clutch. Got to wait for the Flames. Wait for the Flames. Wait for the Flames. He's got 13 HP. Very nice retake there by Device on his own. The opening onto Long, that's an important one, especially because Carrigan misses the shot. He's in a lot of trouble, and Mo's going to catch him, and it's going to be a very desperate situation. Now made worse by Adrenz, drops straight into CT, but he won't spot Glaive in time, but it's still going to be tough here because there's no time to plant the bomb. Oh my goodness, that is so disappointing there for Gambit and a lot of money, so they should absolutely go with this, even if it's going to be like a 10% chance for them to win the round, they should absolutely go for it. Dogia is going to be taking down Carrigan in tunnels, so now things are getting really awkward. Mo is going to enter the bomb site with an easy entry, and that is disastrous. Flashbang over the top, no more utility to use, and MSL is going to peek in, but Tarek gets the connection, and there's just one more man. Rubino is not very healthy, 33 points of health, but that's enough. Tarek doesn't know where to look. Mere Glocks and a bit of Kevlar here. Rubino moving away from the uh, disadvantageous numbers here. And there we go. Head to on the cutler. Down goes Kuster as well. There's a for a third kill and a fourth. <laughs> Rubino making it look oh easy God. in one round. He goes from 26 to 30, Dan. What else is there to be said? That is just ridiculous, isn't it? What? <laughs> Not even looking at him, Edward's able to turn it around again. The low HP haunts him, it's Get Right to find both bomb. Dropped in the site, 12 seconds, they know this Navi, they're trying to play out the time, they're forcing Get Right to run around, and he's gonna go down, eight seconds left. And Edward will clutch it, take down Edward. Get Right as well, right. up close, Meg, seven flashed, up two, make it three! He's just shooting ducks, it's Duck Hunt all over again. <laughs> Welcome back to Nintendo. Or the, excuse me, Forrest instead, that is down in that danger position. Edward jumps around, think he would've just spotted up the first player in Freiburg, and actually nails the shot when he does, so it's Zeus. Takes down Forrest, flaming in it, drop, bye-bye, get right. And we'll soon, surely, wave goodbye to Pith and Exist as well. In the smoke, gonna try and jump through, catch them off, Flamey finds him. Exist one versus five, and I dare say this game is no longer to exist, because 16-12, Flamey will close it. And Navi, well, they're legends once more. NIP, a little bit more work to do. They'll open up the opportunity to do so, but they have to commit to the plan. So, for the moment, well, in the moment past, it was a one-on-one, -on -one, Markalov versus Nav, but now Daps is back in the fight, having put that bomb down. 22 HP, though, to work with. And Markalov's got time, 48 HP on his side. A kit, no nades, but he's trying to change his angle up, change his approach up, and Daps is expecting him still to come out from Ivy. In fact, he's committed to it. He hasn't even turned around yet with this timing, and he could be a sitting duck as Markalov. That's gonna give it away. Does it not? Daps, no. not moving, just lets him walk in. Clever play from Daps on the stairwell, which is going to be tough. He's going to have to hit some really good headshots. In fact, they're going to go proactive right now and just flash their way in as Liquid are setting up. And look at it, Bialy picking up two more headshots. Oh my God, a fourth one coming in. He's wrecking Liquid. And it's now one versus five here. But it seems like they might just walk into this trap. They have very little information to go off of. This is all on feel. Elige, he has to find his first kill, but if you see Snacks falling back, that might set it up. Taz has still got a rifle. Oh no, and there's the kill coming through. Pash has taken one out as well. Elige not hitting the bullets now. He's down to the clock and shooting at his teammates. Just what on earth is going on? Finally, it's going to be Elige coming through. He manages to compose himself enough to get two kills, so good job on him. But that was a little bit of uh, hysteria going on down to the connector, and two good kills coming in from Taz to close it out, making it a quad for himself. And then Virtus Pro picking up a fourth round here. This is now running back in flashbangs all over the place. A complete mayhem of a round here. It's going to be Hiko and Nitro to pick up a couple of kills, but then Taz to close it out, which is going to leave JDM in a one on two with an AWP sneaking close. And he's already heard Snacks in the corner that Molotov going to buy a bit of time. He pulls out the pistol. I think Snacks, did he see him? It seemed like maybe he would have. There was a gun barrel showing at any rate. JDM missing a couple of shots, and now it's down to the AWP. There's an AK right in front of him, he could pick it up, but instead he's up on the SWAT truck, he sees Neo, he goes for the no-scope, he's got almost no bullets left either, and Neo right around the corner, the sh oh, shadow showing, and there's the kill coming through, JDM picking up the double with time to defuse, what an insane clutch about this round, it just wasn't carrying as much equipment this round, simple and Elise will be going down, and Taz dishing out the punishment, JDM to fall next in line as Taz picks up a triple kill, and it's going to be Nitro and Hiko left here. Two versus four.
There is no level of confusion, it seems, that Liquid won't eventually descend into. Quad kill for Taz, as Virtus Pro now climb back up to 11 rounds. Not gonna be worried too much about the smoke. He does eat some AG damage, but they are a little bit late here. VP getting out. Unfortunately, he jumps the gun, and now they know that somebody's holding close. Snacks, he's got that angle with the AWP, and at least he's in a tight spot. He's got no support from his teammates, and they'll eventually just pick him off. Where are his teammates to help him out? Simple, he's holding from connector onto the site. He's got that AWP. He'll find one kill on Bialy into a two-on-two two now, and VP, 22 seconds left to get the bomb, and they have the man advantage. It's all on Hiko, and it's not gonna happen. Snacks is there with the quad kill, because as soon as you trade the kill, it's almost crazy that he just stays that long. Now Simple misses the shot. It looked like he was dead on, but VP, they're about to commit to this A site. The bomb is here. All four players about to go running up, and it's all on Simple now. He does have the help of Nitro, who's rotated in, but Snacks finds the kill on Nitro as he tries to get to the site, and so it really is all alone on Simple. He's gonna pick up the first kill on Pasha. Bialy gonna be flanking him, though, and Simple, he's feeling the heat, drops down on someone, but doesn't see that Neo is right beneath him, and that Tech 9 gonna find the kill. Oh, Hiko, very aggressive jumping out there, but he's also alone. One versus two, and this one is going to be for the game. He has to try and clutch it, and we haven't seen much of that out of Hiko yet. So now would be a good time. Not even going to be given the chance. Snacks picking up a triple instead, and 16-12. Never expect the second man. That's Apex, who's going to go for a bit of a bit of a delayed peak. Dennis will find the shot on Kenny. Speedy and Chris hitting shots all, all of a sudden, and things are starting to fall apart here for Envy. Oh, Happy walking in behind. He does miss a lot of shots then and even takes a jump. That's dangerous. Devil is up here and Happy gets a kill on Speedy. Now all on Dennis in a one on two. He's inside the smoke, defusing with the kid. They're running up on it. Dennis, he's gonna get the round. Oh my god, Envy. Oh, gets oh, oh and he gets devil. the kill as well. How on earth did Envy throw that away? Chris turning around, a quick shot, drops the bomb on Apex, and now the full rotation is going to happen. They already know, great shot from Chris, turning around, that's the triple kill, and that's going to be happy alone, one versus three. Now Chris J just shutting Envy out of the round, that's the quad right then and there. Might actually have some good timing here. If Happy's gonna have a hard time, I think, making it back to the bomb if he starts defusing. He's gonna have to make a lot of noise if that happens. And Speedy, when is he gonna try for it? Now he's heard him running, tabs it once, and Happy sneaking around. And this is what I'm talking about. He has to run for it. Now he's on the other side. Headshots coming through the UMP. And Speedy gonna win a big round for his team here. We'll see if it's effective as Team Envious are about to just go rushing out onto the site. Oh, there's Nico picking up a kill and Speedy down on the bomb site, dropping the bomb as well and followed up with a kill on NBK. So great defense put up here by Speedy. Kenny, he only gets the one kill and Speedy picks up a triple, in fact, which will leave happy. One versus four for the 15th round here and it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Quad kill for Speedy, in fact. They have to just kind of run out here and get the job done. Yeah, and this might actually work out because Happy and Devil can both focus on offer and there's no one going to be able to take down Happy. But because of that instant kill, Dennis, what a fantastic opening. Might be able to get the drop on Happy. He's worried about the right side. And then he goes right down behind him, but this time he doesn't miss. Sprays down both, and that sets it up now. Mouse Sports, they're primed to take this round, take this map, and keep their hopes alive here in the Major. Yeah, the heart of any Envy fan watching right now is just going to be sinking a little bit here as they knew exactly what that meant. Double kill for Nico. He's been absent throughout this whole game almost. But now the last couple of rounds he's really stepped it up. There's Apex picking up one shot with the Max 7. More are coming though and next we'll get a headshot on him. Leaving NBK and Kenny trying to stay alive. But NBK knows he's getting flanked by Nico as well. There's next picking up a kill and that's going to be it. 16-12 as Mouse Sports put Envy out of the Major. Performs got a step towards us, but I see no gun in his hand. I no see gun. no option. He's only got the P250. What the hell is this, Fallen? He's going to have to go into this. Exactly. He's desperate to find one. He's looking left, right, and center, but AZ oh. is still sticking close to the side, and he sees him. AZ waited out, catches him off guard. All right, AZ coming in a little bit late, too, but there's a flashbang, and that holds the back. There's the first pickup right into the face of Kiyoshima, taking him down. More of them are stowed, and there's a second for Taco, hunting for a third now, trying to jump, but it's a bit messy. FNX did take down AZ in the process, but now more of them still being dispatched last one alive is going to be Jacob, but he doesn't last very long. That does not prevail at all, and FaZe already down a man. We can see the quick attempt at a smoke set up into this site. We'll see how well it goes. Molotov response is coming out from the CTs. Good flashes gives them some opening room to work with as Keo presses forward, and there's a start. Jacob finding FNX. Fox with another one, but there's Taco up on top. Nobody trying to punish him at all. There's that surprise from Keo though, pushing in from the smoke, and he's going to find two. Fallen catches the trade, and we'll be into a one-on-one. -on -one. Jacob though, he's heavily injured, down to 29 HP. It might just be easy to close out, but the upshots! It's Jankum actually that finds it. Now very aggressively pushing up to try and hold them in that doorway. 
as now they move forward here, trying to find a way out, both working together, but they've got to be very, very careful. Cold hanging out around the corner, but they found him. Rain able to execute, and now it's just fallen. He's going to play a bit of a ring around the rosy. The first target that was caught while he's midair, so it's hard to aim it. There's nowhere but to look, and for Kiyoshima, he'll be able to move in, taking down Fallen, and giving FaZe a little bit of hope here to start off the second half. That was a four on two in favor to FaZe at the start of that, really, so... Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Rain, why do you have to be like this? I know he had a bad half, but... Doesn't even take the CZ? No, he doesn't, no. Just leaves with what that. you get. Uh, <laughs> that's how you get people in line, you know, just a brutal backhand. But, uh, yeah, that was a 4 and 2 went down to the 2 on... One absolute shambles. Look at Taco here. That... That... That's ridiculous. All right, Taco, well played. He just opens up that map completely for them, and the rest have the bodies just behind that. So again, this could be quite deadly. Crims waiting for more. Body starting to push up. They know he's going to come this way. Dennis takes the step out, takes the fight, and wins it. It's down to RPK in the 1v2. Finds Dennis, but can he find any more? It's Crims in the 1v1. Smoke goes down. RPK takes it out. Looking for the fight. He finds Crims as well. It's RPK being solid as ever. And in the last couple of seconds of the defuse, he will bring it in. And G2, even having that as a factor, seems to make it quite difficult. Now, RPK, he excelled in the previous round. He might just have to do it again. He has shocks beside him. A deadly duo that needs to come up with the goods. And the first has fallen. JW punishes shocks. But RPK will not be moved. That's three back to back. Crims, Olaf, and JW get decimated. Just can't find him. And Dennis also creeping forward up to the train stoppers. But there's a quick shot from shocks. Takes down oh! what? Flasha gets two in a row. They just line right up for him. Scream and shocks both going down. Very quickly stacking up the back of the offside. And Olaf, he's going to spot this. But the first shot actually misses. JW even almost caught out. But look, oh, this is inferno. just an absolute massacre. Get any fruit for that labor and now crims 1v2 15 seconds and the bomb is nowhere to be found they have to take the fight and crims is having none of it look at smith's already falls to his hands and scream gonna walk in and he's down to crims to close it oh body taking down smith that's that's ridiculous that's that's huge at this point you can't be allowed to do that shocks will find one back but now everything's up in the air it's still to be fought for 3v4 though fanatic have the favor Shocks waiting for some peaks to come out there. That's a good shot at a flush. A quick flick from him. Scream gonna be falling back into the ladder just to play it safe for now. There's some hesitation from Fnatic, but they're moving over. They're gonna be jumping onto the bomb. Oh, and it. There's no pressure at all from G2 to move back into the site. They find all the kills, but it doesn't matter because Fnatic, G2 had played so passively, they all just fallen back and it let Fnatic walk right back in and stick that defuse without any hesitation. There's that defense gone from Fnatic now. It's just Dennis. He's picked up one kill against Shocks, but they know exactly where he's hiding at now. But there's a second. We're not done just yet. Dennis holding a strong position behind the bomb train. He's got to get some further movement, though, as right now he's stuck here, and he's only been able to punish over aggression from G2. Moving out, though, looking for body down oh to 7 God. HP. There's only one more to go. It's Scream hiding in the back, but he's got four bullets. He's found a gun, picks up the shot. He, what is this battle? Dennis moving up. He's going to use those four bullets, but Scream somehow keeps it together there. GW going to be trying to come back around. Flush has got a good spot for body already watching it. Into G2 are very aware in this round. They shouldn't start losing things, but Flush has found a rifle. Dennis has found Smith. What is happening? RPK and Shocks do not let this one slip. These are the rounds you do not lose. And Fnatic are knocking at the door of a victory. Now Shocks and RPK again will be asked the same question. Flush are rounding the corner now. He's got an oh, opportunity. No. And even without armor, we can see Dennis moves in. He finds the final kill in a full save. Fnatic are going to close out against G2. Pico doing his best to cover his teammate. Kenny S comes out. Kenny S can't be stopped at the moment. Elijah alone now versus three. You know he's got high sense. That's a nice two-man spray down. Where's the last man? He doesn't know. He has enough bullets. That is an unbelievable clutch there for Elijah.